by the way, the difference between grand and regular, grand is uh, level 99 and regular is level 79. Let's information. Hey, cane, oriental cane, royal, oriental, royal cane. My bad. Luna fix is probably gonna be the hardest to get the I got my unit pixies. These things are really easy to kill. By the way, does anybody know how to fight Mama Pixie? I think that's a name. Pixie Mama? This is Papa Pixie, and I know how to fight him. He fight him at the Orbit Pixie. I remember some of the guys. But, uh. I know there's a Mama Pixie, but like a female version of Papa Pixie. I've never once been able to fight her. Is that part of a special quest? Is there like a special area I have to go to? Is she actually all that strong? Or could like my level 120 fight her? I mean, I know that Mush Dad is, uh, stronger than- well, it's not really Mush- Is he Mush Dad now? I remember something being named Mush Dad, but I'm not sure if it still is, or if it stopped, or if it is now. But, like, the blue Mush Mom, the blue giant mushroom boss, I, mean, I know there's Mush Mom and Zombie Mush Mom. Uh, but I think there's, I think there's a blue Mush Mom. Cannon! What's with cannons being so popular and like being dropped? What does a what does a pixie need a cannon for? No, serious. What I'm serious. Serious question. Why do why do monsters need these items? Where do they hold these items? That's a real big thing for like any RPG ever. Where do all the monsters keep their stuff? Where do people keep their like where, where am I carrying a gladius, a gladius, whatever you want. Where am I holding a giant cannon? Where am I holding a golden wing, this stuff, arrows, hundreds of potions, a thousand potions? I'm carrying a chair. A chair. Now it's a relaxer, but it's a chair nonetheless. How am I carrying this? And don't say it's it's small. But look, it's about it's it's almost as big as my entire body. Heck, it might be just as big as me. But how do I carry it? Don't even tell me video game. Huh? There's, there's no video game. It's, I, it could be video game logic, I mean, Like, this. Somebody should do a video explaining how it. how a character carries so much stuff and where they keep it. Like, I I thought about it quite a lot, and I just can never come up with a definitive answer. Truthfully, I've just decided to rely and call it magic. My characters teleport into a magical dimension and pull it out whenever they want it. I also like Garfield. Garfield is a good, is a comic that a lot of people, everybody knows who Garfield is. And if you don't know, where have you been for the past ever since Garfield was made? Garfield is an orange cat that uh, lives with a very nerdy owner and an 
idiot dog, and Garfield is incredibly fat and will eat a lot of food. It's actually quite hilarious, because he can talk. Well, sometimes he can talk, but sometimes he can't. Like, sometimes his owner is just like, Oh, hey, I wish I knew what you were saying. And some other time it's just like, Oh, hey, he just insulted me. I let him found it. And it's just like, how do you know he... So stuck. I still talk or not? I'm actually a huge fan of the multiverse theory. Hey, theory... It's a theory that there are multiple universes. Each one is slightly different than the than another. And there's just an infinite amount of them. Like in one, and there's a new, like there'd be a universe where you were like Batman, and the Joker is real, or you were Superman, or you were born the opposite sex. When you think about the uh, possibilities, that would amass if we could find a way into other universes. Then, yeah. I also actually used to be really bent on like talking about an organization that I made up because I hoped that they would be real and they contact me because I knew who they were. It was called the IMSS, the Internet Madman Stop Squad, which pretty much went on. Pretty much, uh, people would be able to harness the power of the internet to destroy the world. It is our job to go inside worlds from other, like, um, basically a world would be create, two worlds would be created whenever a person in our world has an idea. So, like, the idea of Legend of Zelda becomes a universe, but there's two universes. One, where that game's, uh, story plays out, and another, where the entirety of the universe just plays, it just goes on its own accord. No story, just nothing. It's kind of in my, in my imagination fuel. Like, I, I don't fall asleep by clearing my mind, I fall asleep by making my mind so active that I just kind of zone out and eventually my mind clears itself. I'm just not paying attention to anything anymore. this game, well at least in the past, but how do you make a lot of money? I mean now I can make like 40k on my way to level 30. But like and right now I have but they had that treasure island not too long ago. So I uh don't uh I have a lot of items from there. I seriously my fighter has like a thousand like sixteen hundred elixirs. By the way, this is Ferris. Basically, the I IMSS is like, I was pretty much the strongest DI in it. And like, I always go to people that were gullible enough to beat me and tell them to do something. Like, with me. 20 mushroom stores and answer this question and I'll say and then practice a lot and you might be a part of it. Now, I don't do that anymore because I realize it's a bunch of bull crap and I don't want anybody to get their hopes up about doing a sequel of the internet that goes into video game world to save, to save the internet and actually to save our world too. Like right now the entire thing is just inside like the darkness has seeped from a world that somebody created. Nobody knows what world it is but the person's imagination was so powerful, created a darkness that has been affecting other worlds, and it's the IMSS's job to, uh, instead of stopping just one madman, it stops the darkness from taking over worlds and destroying them. And then people will have, because, uh, when a universe is destroyed, not only does it, uh, disappear from your memory, but it also leaves a hole in your memory that can never be bonded. Which is why we are so bent on not making 
destroy because it could ruin people. If possible, kill anybody that came in contact with that world. It only affects the popular world, so it's more, so it's more likely that more people will have, uh, know, will know about it. And of course, we, uh, if, if we have to go, we only go into the story world, because that's the only ones they affect. They don't affect the roam around as you will kind of, uh, worlds. It's just kind of a, if, uh, if somehow, like, the universe is a powerful being, that nobody has the power to defeat, except for, well not really anybody. The darkness just messes up the story so much that the universe can't stop it. And I guess it's kind of like in Kingdom Hearts where it just goes into the core and destroys it. And then the whole universe collapses. And so I drop to protect that core by killing whoever the darkness has infected, which usually is the villain of the story, so it's not all that bad. But, if the universe doesn't see our interference as a good thing, the universe will not include what we did inside the story, and therefore no way we Like, even if we... Even if we did somehow uh, get put inside the story, which we never will because again, this is a fake thing, but if we were somehow put inside the story, then everybody will rem remember it as if that story had always been there. And we, th we will always be inside it, if, inside the story, if we are, if we are so it. That's really just something I've always thought about, just as my way of keeping myself kind of clean. I'm really just trying to find something to talk about. So you don't really have to listen to my rambling. You might just turn down your sound. I just need to talk about that. I don't want to just sit here beating up stuff and have people just be like, oh, he's not talking. There's nothing to do. It's just him beating up stuff. Which, although violence is cool, it's boring when you're just like. I'm really close to getting Third job, and I, again, I will be the third job for a thing. Just like I'll do a fourth, fourth job. And I'm glad to do it all on this character, not on any of my other characters that are close to, uh, that's close to level 100. Only on this character. They say, where's excuses? Good job. Now he wants a hundred. How many are you? How many of them are you? There seems to be quite a lot. If you can play 50 practice spears in the span of three seconds. Do you have more people hidden in the back? Are you, well, you got... I mean, I'm assuming he has an army to fight for, to fight with him. But... Truth I have a lot of characters that need to be... That need their... That need their turn and need their turn. Like, I have almost every character on my account is at least level 30. And almost every Wait. All of the one, no, all the one. Maybe all the two characters, which includes this one, but are not the job. I have quite a few characters. I think the only other one is my Hayato. Oh wait, also my Ice Spike made it for that. My main match. Maybe there's another. I know that, uh, and I also have my, uh, my everybody, my everybody on my Katie world is, no, 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 I think they, yeah, or Tiny, if you want to call it that. Okay. I'm wondering what those numbers mean, I'm looking at my experience, I like to look, when I'm, uh, how, whenever I'm trying to train on enemies, I always look at what my, what, how much experience I get from them. 
I, if I get 30%, if I get 10%, if I get 1%, Maybe not 30%, 0.30, 0.3%. I'm almost getting to my favorite part of this entire thing, which is that excuse for not having any more shields. Because somebody was still put the plates and plates are there. For some reason. Don't ask me why plates are I don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah, if you want to get a head start on the uh, next quest, you can go to the next room and I'll have a mix between the parents. Uh, golden pairs, I think they're called. I'm assuming they're called golden pairs, because everything else is called golden. I mean, there's golden rabbit, golden mammoth, golden sporty. These parents are monster The funny thing is, I'm actually playing this with only my right hand. Because if you can see down there, uh, down the bottom right, I have my... Uh, Wait, I have my skill set up there. And that's right up with the arrow key, and I use the arrow keys with my right hand, so I kind of just reach up and do it. I've played this game for a long time. Maybe it was seven years, but probably not eight years. So I've, I've, I used to be really knowledgeable, but now that they've added so many new things, I've just kind of lost my touch. So many characters that need to be level. I want to get a good job. I got my eyes. Well, my eyes like mainly my cleric. My cleric is the second character on my on my account. First being legend. Already legend. I even got my luminous level 104 for my cleric. It's just a cleric isn't useful unless there's multiple people. I mean, a cleric is still defended. I'm actually trying to get my fighter to level 100. I'm probably also going to try and get this guy to level 100 after I get my fighter. I'm also going to do the team dunk along the way at the video. For my fighter, I want to have all three uh, four job, uh, characters for the Warriors. Warriors are my favorite class. Recently, I've been getting into Dungeons and Dragons. I, um, I think I talked about this before, but I have like the 4.0 books or something. I used to have like the 3.5, but well, I still have like the 3.5 or whatever. Whatever the following or what the issue is or game set. Uh, I've been recently trying to figure out how to make a character. I wanted my brother to help, but he didn't help me in time and he left. Me and uh, my friend, Cuddly Kitty, is one. Well, she used to want to. She doesn't. 
really want to play Dungeons and Dragons all that much anymore. But we did have to play a little bit, and we made our own characters our own way. Not the official. I mean, it might have been the official way, but I just. We played the way, way I wanted to, because I don't have all the dice. I have about a billion six sided dice, and that's about it. Should be around 15. I'll be playing, have been playing for 45 minutes. So I'll be around 45 minutes. And my power is broken. Yeah. So, next 
next time on Maple Story Theme Dungeon Christ, or Chris, however you want to pronounce it, uh, we will be getting some active shields and hearing the name and excuse of why they have little one and gone later. See you guys then.